Softball 360 is brought to you by DeMarini. Upgrade your game with the DeMarini CL22. By Evil Sports. The best softball on the planet is evil. EvilSports.com. By Reebok. Check out the Reebok 2013 Barrage at suncoastsports.net. And by the WSL. Play the next level. The WSL Worth North American Championship Series. Welcome back to Softball 360. I'm your host, Timmy Layton. It's time now we head back to Atlanta for an old-fashioned Southern Fried Slugfest. Each slugger gets 15 swings. Each home run is worth one point, except the last pitch, known as the money ball. It's worth two points and can be the tiebreaker. Heads up in the outfield. Get ready to see some big time blasts as the world's greatest softball home run hitters are on deck. Get ready. Time for the big show. Mikan and Reebok at Turner Field in the ATL. Leading off is Denny Primetime Crime for Team Mikan. At six foot seven and 300 pounds, the big man uses his leverage to hit harder, faster, and further. Crime leads off and never looks back with some massive deep blasts into the yard at Turner Field. Now we are going to slow it down and analyze the super smooth crime swing. Freeze it right there. Perfect form and absolute textbook style are on display. Boom! There it goes. Another evil softball leaves the park. And on the money ball, count it. 12 big points for DC and the mark has been set high. Stepping up to the plate next, the J-back attack. As Jason Baxter hails from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, in only a sophomore season on the tour, J-back is already known for his ability to go deep. A power hitter by trade, Jason knows he has to step up his game, and he's doing just that. Bang zoom! All the way to Stone Mountain, Georgia with that shot from his barrage bat. J-Back is blasting his way up the hit parade. He walks away with nine points. It's clear Team Reebok is in the hunt for the title. Up next for Team Mike and Ed the Kid Vega. The kid is big and powerful with a swing to match. Vega has been described as the gentle giant, but at six foot five and 300 pounds, the slugger from Southern California is anything but gentle. Kid's rowdy roundhouse swing and his mic and bat are cutting through the swampy Georgia air. But Kid needs a bit more. He ends his shift with six points and the promise of a better day at the plate. At six foot six and close to 300 pounds, Reebok's Chris Greiner is one tough customer at the plate. The Maryland's native has a softball resume that reads like a champ with titles and Best of and top dog all over it. The G-Man swings a Reebok barrage and does it with explosive power. The two-piece bat design is what G-Man craves. G-Man sends him deep into the yard with one after another going gonzo. The G-Man is part of a new world order with 10 points and the softball universe is on full alert. D-Rock Dustin Roberts steps up. Check out that fast whip-like swing. This is exactly how you do it, folks. D-Rock is solid today, if not spectacular. His nine points help Reebok move up in the points battle. The 2012 champion on the Stadium Power Tour, Kevin Flip Bilby. Flip is famous for his big, fast, powerful, and smooth swing. His Mike and KF30 Bilby Supermax is on display. But the hefty lefty is not clicking today. But Flip does recover and gets back on his game. Though it's a tad late for a comeback, the victory train has left the Atlanta station. Flip ends up with six points, but his Mike and teammate Denny Krein holds down the top spot. I just got the ball up in the air with enough uh, backspin on it that it uh, ended up putting up a good number. Take a look at the final results from Atlanta. Denny Krein sets the pace early and holds on with those 12 big points. 
Wow, what a show in Atlanta, where we crowned a champion. Now remember, only six bombers can qualify for the finals. So for standings, be sure to check us out at softball360.com. I'm Timmy Layton, and as I like to say, let's get out to the park and play ball. Next week on Softball 360, the Battle of the Brands tightens up as the Stadium Power Tour heads to Detroit at Comerica Park as Mike and Dee Marini get down in Motown. What does it take to become king of the softball mountain? Find out at the King of the Hills Tournament in Black Hills, South Dakota. And rock and fire with the ladies of fast pitch and a classic look back at the career of the great Jenny Finch. It's all next week on Softball 360.